Hey, hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. We are live at uh, Fox Marquette. You're looking at the park expose of the Lake Superior Performance Rally, which is happening throughout the UP this weekend. We are back with co-chairs Steve Gingrass and Eric Carlson. So like I just mentioned, this is the, the park expose. This is things are just getting kicked off. People are getting excited. The excitement is building. Rev, engines are revving. So wh where to next after this? Yeah, so right, this is Park Expo Day. All the drivers and cars are going to be on display for an hour. But then we're going to take the ceremonial start at 9.30 this morning. Cars are going to get started. But the racing takes place this afternoon out around the Kenton area. And the road surfaces are perfect this year. They're hard packed gravel. Roads are mostly just a little damp, so they're going to hold a lot of traction. So we should be looking for some really good. Uh, Have you been watching the weather, wanting rain? Like, was that a good buildup? No, I would I would prefer 60 degrees and sunny with perfect fall colors. But you know what? This kind of racing, we don't let the weather draw us back. We're, we're going to go race anyway. I raced in 95, and we had about 10 inches of snow during the race. We still go. I love it. It is so loud here this morning. It's so exciting. Eric, talk a little bit more about that course. Is it hilly? Is it bumpy? Is it off-road? Are you going up mountains? Is it curvy? What's it like? Yeah, very curvy. Uh, gravel roads, so up and down hills, round corners. Um, the drivers that end up doing really well are the ones that do really, really well on every single corner by just a tiny bit better than everybody else. They're not the fastest people necessarily. They're not. It's not a, a big ser series of drag races. It's just a, a, everybody who's good at really good at every corner. All right, we're in front of a really loud car right now, and I'm really curious. Is that the sign of a good car, a car that needs a little bit of work? I mean, it's it really. <laughs> Are you feeling that? Is that the sound you're looking for? So the sound we're hearing is from a really special car. It's it's a uh, Chevy Sonic, but it's got a Corvette V8 motor shoved into it, and it's all-wheel drive. So that is one of the that's one of the top cars, and he's going to be really doing doing well. 100 miles an hour. So people, when they hear that car pull into the parking lot, does everybody kind of stop what they're doing and 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 look? Well, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, it, it certainly shook me a little bit, and I even saw a couple dogs jump because yeah. it really did get loud real fast. So yeah, that, that car is an exception. Most cars aren't that loud. All of these cars that we're racing today are 100% street, street legal, right down to insurance and catalytic converters. So first rule of the rally is the cars are street legal. So yeah, that's a street legal car. So you can take that to work every day. When I got started in rallying, my rally car was my everyday go to school, go to work car. Tia, I think you need to go and see if you can get that car to go to work. You think I know how to like drive manual? You don't? <laughs> no, oh, I've never done it before. That's a UMT coming up. I, I think so. You know, I'm, I'm interested in the course. I want to talk more about this course. Is, is, how, how long are the drivers behind the wheel for? Is it one out there at a time? Are they physically passing each other or is it just all based on timing? Yeah, good questions. Um, there's two, two types of stages. There's the race stages, and there's approximately 120 miles of race stages throughout the two days. And then there's the transit stages, which get you on public roads between the race stages, and that's why the cars need to be street legal. And between the two, we add up to about a little over 400 miles for the event over two days. Wow, 400 miles. So this yeah. is a big race. This is an exciting couple of days. We're going to take you inside a car to show you exactly what it looks like from the driver's standpoint, from the passenger standpoint and really tour and find out all those pieces and what makes the cars mm -hmm. vroom, vroom, vroom. is that what you <laughs> yeah how well it's, well it's not just that though but it's also the safety sure they want to check out the safety equipment because these cars are, are incredibly modified it, we you know to be able to go that fast on the roads safely is takes a lot of engineering and you'll when we look inside the car you'll see all the different structural frame pieces to help do that all right, all right. Okay, that's fun too. Okay. You're right, that's important, but we also want to look at the engine, right? Exactly, we'll look at the engine. <laughs> all right, we'll look at the engine. We're going to take a look at all of it, the safety, the engine, the excitement, when we come back.